Hi, Marika. How are you doing today? Hi. Oh, good. <laughs> How are you? Uh, also, not too bad. I mean, actually, I'm, I'm I'm very thrilled having you here in this call and and talking to you about your successful journey to join Boston Consulting Group in Sweden. So, um, I mean, first things first, of course. Uh, congratulations. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Yes, it feels amazing. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I mean, this is I mean, this is a fantastic and it's a really, really a remarkable achievement. Um, so um talking about uh, your journey, right? Uh maybe let's <laughs> let's start uh with uh with the last chapter of this. So how did the interviews at BCG actually feel? So how do you experience the whole thing? Was it stressful or was it maybe more relaxed than you had imagined? Yeah, absolutely. The second one, definitely more relaxed than I had imagined. It was um, it was a very nice experience in general. I did not expect it to be like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I heard it, but it's always different than when you go inside and then you do it yourself. And then, yeah, I mean, it, it's success, exactly how people say, right? You yeah. meet amazing people. All mm -hmm. of them are so nice human beings, really. Mm -hmm. They connect to you uh, and everything feels so sincere. So you are put in a very comfortable position. You can open up, you can talk to them. Um, you, of course, need to think in the back of your mind that whatever you said, of course, is, is evaluated all the time because yeah. it's an interview. But yeah. it doesn't feel like it. So, so that's, a, that's a very positive experience. I think the worst part is the waiting for me at least i mean <laughs> the day before the interview i felt stressed because it's so much work and it's like this you know um it's a big performance coming up so i felt quite stressed uh, the day before and mm. uh, at least for the first interview but not for the second for the second i was much much it was much better yeah um, and then because you had already experienced hour. it right you 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 had seen already that it's not so bad <laughs> exactly i think the, the, the first one was the worst and then everything else was just super pleasant uh mm -hmm. but just the waiting part i'm, I'm talking about uh, yeah. and especially the waiting part like the the hour before mm. the interview that's yeah. when i uh, suffered a lot i was looking at my vitals on my apple watch and i'm like oh my god i was so stressed before and then mm. that when it starts I was better. And the second one, because I, I had two back to back, the second one was even more chilled. Yeah. So just like a, the interview <laughs> is okay. Definitely. It's just the yes. waiting part that kills me. Yeah. <laughs> Great. So, uh, I mean, let us maybe circle a little, uh, circle back a little bit, right? Uh, back to the time when you reach, uh, reached out to us, right? And uh, to find out whether we should work together, right? So uh, what was your situation at that point, right? Uh, and what were your challenges and your concerns and uh, your motivation to, to, to go on that journey uh, with, with, with our help, essentially? So uh, can, you, can you guide us mm -hmm. through this? Yes, sure. Um, yeah, so basically, um, first of all, I come from a non-business background. So I um, uh, I decided to do my, I mean, uh, so basically I decided to go into management consulting already two years ago, but I never prepared anything. I knew I had that in the back of my mind. Mm -hmm. I was learning about the job, but the interview, like, you know, going and do cases, I've never done it before. Mm -hmm. uh, and so what happened is like I did my PhD. So that's my background in uh, medical science. So mm -hmm. definitely zero, you know, like uh, knowledge about bus the business world in general. Mm. And uh, so, so what did you did you like did when... you panic about this, or was this a big concern? Right uh, at the time, did you think, "Oh my God, uh, I need to uh, amass a lot of business knowledge"? Was this the perspective that you had at that time? Yeah, actually, yes, that was exactly it. Because I felt that I needed to do a, a short MBA by myself. So I had some books about like, uh, <laughs> yeah, 10 days, like MBAs in 10 days, something like yeah. that. I was like, yeah. I need to learn the KPI. Actually, the first time I heard that, I was like, what's KPI? I mean, what do I need to do? <laughs> So I was quite stressed uh, mm -hmm. because I felt I needed to cover a lot of knowledge before even doing it, going to cases. Yeah. So yeah. that was my first approach. Mm -hmm. First, I was like, I need to learn the lingos. I need to learn uh, all those things. Like, right. Yeah. So I was reading these books and everything. Mm, and I haven't started any, you know, cases prep or uh, I didn't do anything at that point yeah. so what happened is that uh when i i was looking into okay but I, i'm gonna need to have some some something like maybe a book or two or what do i what do i do 
So yeah. uh, yes, the first thing is like you know you come across the you know Victor Chang's and all these uh, uh, books uh, mainstream, and mm-hmm. I bought it. I actually bought it already two years ago, never opened it. Uh, they are still there and I still never opened them. Mm. Uh, and uh, I was like, uh, but then I, I heard from a, a friend of mine at Bain that he also interviews. It's just like, uh, yeah, those books are great uh, for start, as a start, mm. as an idea of uh, something, but uh, careful because uh, then I have people that come into it and they recite these things mm. and it feels it's coming directly out of the book and they're reciting it. And it's problematic because they don't tailor it to the case. So mm. uh, careful with that. You need to really, you know, you know, use it as a starting point. But then you need to have your own ways of doing it mm. and tailoring it. And yeah. like, I don't know what that means. I mean, yeah. to be honest, I didn't know. Okay, I understand something is bad. Uh, I don't know what to do about it. I have no idea. Yeah. And then I also heard that the people from uh, some other MBBs that are working there. And they told me that they use some coaching um, programs. Mm-hmm. And then I felt like, okay, I feel like it's definitely worth it because my main concerns were to basically lose time, but also lose focus because everything was that, like I needed to do it by myself. So you, I needed to have a schedule. I needed to to know the milestones, milestones, yeah. where to understand if I was on the right track or not. Yes, yes. And so that's, yeah. So and getting the structure difficult. right, getting the right swim lanes, and then also having the calibration on where you are right in the journey. Exactly, right? exactly. Mm. And how am I doing in that journey? Because mm. everything is like, how do I evaluate it? I mean, I don't know. And then if you ask other people that are in the same journey with you, how do they evaluate it? They're not in yeah. the, in, in, they're not working there. So, yeah. so it's really tough in that in that situation. Yeah. Um, and so basically what happened is that, uh, yes, I, I came across uh, some some Facebook gro- groups and then I, I saw your your videos and then uh, we had the first uh, talk and I felt yep. like this is definitely what I'm looking uh, but because, uh, for because it's just like the structure, right? Mm. It's like a joining a course, like a program. Yep. It yep. is exactly joining a program where you have everything split in modules. Mm. Every module you can do, that you can it can take you a week, but even longer it depends. But at least you know that you have those modules, and then you need to complete module one before going to the second one, yeah. and and then the second before for the third. So yeah. you know you can set up a, a schedule. You can yeah. revisit the schedule. And everything is flexible, mm-hmm. but at the same time, it's so nice to see here what I am, here what I need to get to get. Yeah. It's just like a. It gives me a lot of peace of mind because yes, you know yes. you have because set you can, up something you can that is walk tangible. A very, you can walk a very proven path, right? Uh, so this is a exactly. this is a structure that has been set up that has already been been proven to be successful. So um, you 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 release that yeah that dimension of complexity essentially from from exactly. what you need to do. Mm, exactly because otherwise you by yourself it's really like what do you do? I mean for <laughs> me it was problematic. Yeah. Very good, very good, cool. So maybe mm-hmm. now uh, let's go a b- little bit into content, right? So um, how we <laughs> essentially prepared you to get offer ready, and uh, I mean, as you know, I mean, you you already mentioned it now. Most candidates are approaching cases with with frameworks in the style of yeah, case in point, Victor yeah. Chang and so on, right? The similar books, um, but uh, um, yeah, <laughs> at the end of the day, this is also what uh, what that yeah told by friends or even by their their universities or business schools, etc., right? Um, so, yeah. and we have done something very different from this, right? We've we've established a pretty robust methodical grounding um, on which you can then build a much stronger and more rigorous case solving muscle, which is derived from what consultants are actually doing on these projects, right? So, um, exactly. If you now reflect back, right? What would you say? How has this more I would call it more mature approach to cases and problem solving uh, and this independence from frameworks. How did this help you to be successful in your interviews with BCG? Yeah, I mean, yeah, as you said, right, like the freedom from these uh, frameworks, I think that's number one thing. I I, I wasn't, uh, I mean, um, at the beginning, I thought before joining your course that I was going to need to sit down and learn by heart frameworks. And yeah. then you kind of have a big report, report or whatever that's the name. Mm. And then you pick like, okay, I can use this, this, and this. You do a collage, like you need mm. to remember all of them under pressure, mm. you know. Um, so I thought that that was going to be the exercise in here. But instead, what we did was completely the opposite. It's like no framework. It's like 
how do you solve a problem, any problem that is thrown at you? And that's yep. so good because it's like, I mean, I heard this from other people in other, like these videos that we're making now, right? I saw it as well before joining this group. And these yep. people were saying like, oh, and then I learned how to approach problems in my life in general. And it's like, it's, a, it's a yes. true because I felt like, Whatever problem I feel like I hear, it's like, okay, let's break it down. Mm -hmm. What are the main components? What is the real question that is asking here? Yeah. And then like you rigorously, like it's very structured way of thinking. And there is nothing about, okay, let me think, okay, in here I need to use this, this, and this, uh, these components. And uh, but it, it, like, uh, what bucket do I need? It's not about, it's completely different uh, way of thinking, right? Yeah. It's just about, and, and I think the, the best part is also really, breaking down the problem but also understanding the problem itself because sometimes that's the biggest problem like what does the client yes. really want here yes yes and this is this is what the interviewers are also testing right uh, so very often uh, and uh, you probably also experience this in one way or another very often candidates feel the pressure that even though they received a question which they don't really understand right they feel yeah, they need to in. somehow fake it they need to just come across as if they know what's going on right and yeah, yeah. they're not understanding that this is actually also something that is tested, right? Are you someone who is understanding, okay, these are the three or four things I don't understand at the moment. So yeah. let me ask, right? Exactly. Because this is the fine. starting point for solving a problem, right? Yes, and, exactly. And... <laughs> no, but what you said, exactly. It's like really like doing that exercise at the beginning, right? Of like okay this is uh, i'm gonna recap but also how do i recap i mean let's take away all the things that are not needed let's go to the yeah. core and yeah. now let's focus in that right yeah. let's nail down each point that i'm gonna like i'm gonna use then to lay now lay down my structure so yeah. like at every point that's what it was very good because i felt like there are so many components uh, when you need to do these uh, cases yeah. And uh, if you read, uh, you read about it, or even like if you listen to these videos, it feels like, yes, it makes sense. But then when you put it in practice, that's completely different. Yes. And you need a lot of exercise. And that's also the, be the best part of with this, that you, you learn, you hear it, but then you put it in practice. And then you had a one on one co co uh, coaching with you guys. And mm -hmm. then the peers is uh, amazing because we're all are aligned on the same ways we all taught the same basic things yes so i can i have also a way to um uh, evaluate the performance of my peers based mm -hmm. on this because i now i know what we need to do i yes. am failing it of doing it and i'm trying but i know what it is and they know what it is and so we give each other feedback and we yeah. know exactly what there is so we yes. align among each other as well in the same way as you we should align on with the client or the yes. interviewer in this case so it's yes. they all you know that's the, the teaching part like the strength of the of the course right it's like exactly. it's, uh, 360 really transformation of of this basic skills Yes, yes. And then also when you are practicing with the other peers, with the other program participants, right, then usually you will also see some of them who have maybe their interviews before you, you can use them as a reference because then you see, okay, this person has received an offer from McKinsey, this person has received an offer from Bain, whatever, right? Okay, I was pretty much on a similar level like this person, so can't be so yes. bad, <laughs> right? So, yeah. and, and this no, is something exactly. that is that 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 is mentioned very often by people. And I mean, this is also, I mean, this is also your function more or less because there are people with whom you practiced who have not yet had their interviews. But guess what? They are now very encouraged because they've seen your success yes. now. <laughs> no, exactly, absolutely, and also like uh, just on on this peer thing in general, it's also so nice and everybody keeps saying the same so this is not news but uh you meet amazing people in the group and uh, first of all it's so nice because um uh you guys are so good at like uh, uh helping us to to get in contact so everything is so like a uh, hustle free so mm -hmm. it's easy because i don't know how it is in other situation like on on facebook groups or whatever mm -hmm. but like you guys have like p uh, people that are practicing with you all over the world Yep. And uh, we all like, uh, you know, we, we can all uh, connect to each other super easily. We book each other like, uh, yep. uh, um, uh, 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 what's the name, a calendar. So it's so yes. easy. So it's like at some point I didn't need to do anything. Like mm. my, my week was completely full because like <laughs> these peers said that they were booking me like slots. And it was yep. just like, you know, I give them availability. This is my availability, my time zone. And then everything yep. is so automated. So it takes away yep. so much. It's so easy. 
Yeah. And then we kept meeting more than once with the same. Then you, you feel some of them, you can really connect and you're practicing well. So you keep practicing with them. And yep. then, of course, then you become friends and we're all cheating for each other. And exactly. it's just like an amazing thing. And some of them like, uh, you know, end up in the same company or the yes. same firm. And then, and then you have already uh, some people that, you know, uh, it's just like, it's so nice. It's a very, uh, great. it's a good, a good group of people. Great, great, great. Cool. So uh, thank you so much for sharing your perspective, right? So uh, now in closing, right? Um, are there any uh, maybe final learnings, specific things you would like to share with people who are now starting their preparation journey for interviews at yeah, big, big consulting firms, BCG, or maybe also the other MBBs? So anything that would come from you as a specific hint, what to do to ensure success? Mm, yes okay so first of all again like uh, you need to choose a good coach if you feel like that you need help ask for help because like i don't know maybe some people are okay not like asking for help whatever it is i didn't want to lose my opportunity of getting into mbbs and i really prioritized it that was a priority in my life so yeah. uh, that's what i've done and that's why i chose to go and ask for professional help um so either you like as you said at the beginning either this is your priority or it is not uh, mm -hmm. and and that's exactly the the mindset i feel so that's number one uh but then in general especially i guess i don't know how it is for other people i feel it's quite similar but just for people that come from another background that is not business mm -hmm. or academia like me mm -hmm. like be prepared to be extremely uncomfortable in the process because <laughs> it's really hard um and it's very frustrating especially if you come with a like you know uh, a not uh, i mean a lot of people that apply my, they might be in their early 20s and i'm not and i have my experience and I, and and i've i've kind of established myself as a researcher yes and now here i am you know approaching these cases or doing this math and mm. being so uncomfortable because the math itself is easy and then maybe mm. i get it wrong because i need to do it on pen and paper and somebody's yeah. looking at me and i'm getting it yeah. wrong and i feel so ashamed yeah. and it's very bad because you feel what am i doing here like and then it's like it's a wave like it, it mm. goes on waves it's like sometimes you do some cases with some peers and you feel like oh my god i can see that i'm improving this is amazing and then you do another one it's, it's precious <laughs> like your confidence so bad and you're like okay this is not moving forward i'm stuck how is it possible mm. and you go and you need to keep going on that very uncomfortable feeling and i feel that's that's the number one thing is just like that's for me, point. it was very, very uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, that's a great point. And by the way, uh, I can already break a secret to you. Uh, this will not change once you start with BCG because I know, I know, being in the learning curve always comes with discomfort, right? And these firms, yes. right? These MBBs, BCG, also McKinsey, Bain, they are so good in spotting when, as soon as somebody feels comfortable, they put the next it's thing over. in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly so you need to be uh, and i think that this is actually a very good point because if you if you're struggling too much and you feel like you know it's not worth it, it it's actually eye-opening because as you said right this is going to be the job mm -hmm. and uh, and you don't know things and you need to learn it and you need yep. to take decision with very ambiguous information and mm -hmm. it's very different because you know you also have a phd and you told me at the beginning mm -hmm. it's very very difficult different you don't have a you know good quality information and then you build up an hypothesis but you yeah. know you're always cautious you never give a final answer in here is the dif difference it's like very ambiguous information you need to work with what you have mm -hmm. the time is limited and you need to take you know you need to you need to decide you need to exactly. give a recommendation exactly and no matter what you need you to give have an, a you give an opinion right because this is your you job as a consultant opinion. yeah and the great thing yeah. is consultants are getting paid for having no opinion. <laughs> exactly. And and I feel like a lot of, uh, I, I saw other so people shying away from it. I'm like, you need to mm -hmm. give me an answer here when I was yes. doing this peer practice and I was doing yes. it myself, you yes. know? So yeah, it's also a switching of like, you know, way of, uh, of, uh, of thinking in general. So yeah, anyway, discomfort, uh, but yeah. Uh, it's 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 an amazing opportunity because you learn a lot and again yeah this is just the preparation so the job is going to be the same so absolutely uh important to keep this in mind 
<laughs> Amazing. So thank you so much, right, for, for, for sharing your experience, sharing your views, sharing uh, your whole journey. And congratulations again for joining BCG. Uh, amazing company, right? Um, so, and I'm sure uh, you're headed for a great career there. So all the best. Thank you so much, CD.